Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently ink for this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Anoto, and this is the Great Roof. We have uh, the Anoto, and this is the British Museum uh, Great Roof uh, Vermeil. Um, we have the Anoto, and this is a Platinum Jubilee overlay. We have the Anoto Platinum Jubilee in sil sterling silver there. We have an Anoto, and this is the Coronation in sterling silver. We have an Anoto, and this is the Chased Green in the Magna Classic. We have an Anoto, and this is uh, the uh, Charles Dickens Christmas Cowl uh, 2022. We have a Mr. Cypress Rod and Dragon. We have a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 01, and a Mr. Cypress Maple in the Forest. So I think let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is... Uh, a custom-made pen, actually. Uh, I bought it second-hand from Royal Izod. Um, somebody wanted the uh, British Museum uh, Great Roof resin version to be made, but to have the uh, British Museum pattern here in um, sort of filled in with gold uh, paint. So uh, this is a custom-made version. It also doesn't have British Museum on the cap band. It's just plain. But I like this, and that's the reason why I bought this. Not that it's missing British Museum. I wish it did have British Museum on the cap band. But the actual gold backfill here on that pattern just makes it look really nice. So I decided I would buy this uh, Anoto. So I bought it secondhand uh, from Roy Izod's uh, that he was selling. And this is a 18-cat uh, gold uh, medium nib. Um, and... It was going actually for about the same price as the retail version was. Um, so I I thought, you know what, let's just go for this. But um, I bought it. It was actually a steel nib that it came with. And I put a medium nib onto this one. Uh, you can post the cap. Now, th this is the medium nib that I had that I swapped out before because it was a crisp metallic. So I will probably be looking to buy a uh, new 18 cat gold because... As much as I love writing with it, that nib, it's still a little bit too crisp for my liking. Uh, if anybody wants a, an 18 cat gold and Noto crisp metallic nib, then do let me know. Although it's 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 more of a rounded stub now, uh, unfortunately. Um, so I have that one inked up with me this week. Uh, and then I have, which I've not ridden with for a while now, is the actual Noto British Museum uh, Great Court Vitreous. And... Uh, this is a, a solid silver pen with this lovely blue vitreous uh, enameling that you can see here on this pen. Again, that same great roof pattern there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, very, very weighty. And you can see there, British Museum on that cat band. So that's what this one is essentially missing. Um, it is a very long pen and I do have an 18 cat gold fine nib. Strangely enough, I actually picked this one up from Royal Izod's as well. Uh, just because he had it and it was going for a good price. Um, you can't really post the cap. It's not designed to do so. Uh, it is a, Even though it's a sterling silver pen, it's a cartridge converter. Uh, and I have that inked up there. And I was just wondering how much ink I had in it. So I do actually have a almost a full converter of ink. Uh, but it is a beautiful pen. And it is just a pen that I love writing with. The next pen uh, is a pen I picked up at the uh, London Pen Show in October 2023. And this is a Platinum Jubilee. Uh, and this is the Overlay. So it's a black resin pen. And you can see there a note of the pen made in England. Uh, and then you have uh, the Overlay cap here. So you've got all of those symbols from the Platinum Jubilee there. And you can see there's 70 years. A uh, beautiful pen. Uh, I do like it a lot. And I... I Although I have the silver one here, the sterling silver version, I just like this black and silver cap uh, here. I, I just think the contrast is beautiful. So uh, this I got with an 18 cat gold uh, medium nib. It's a number seven size. 
Um, you can post a cap, but it does just spin. It's not going to, like, stay tight on the back there. So I would be worried about sort of writing with it, because if you start moving, it's just going to fall off the back. So it, you do have to be a little bit careful there, I would say, with, with that pen. And, and it will be super back-weighted as well, so you're probably not going to want to post it anyway. But this was the pen that I got in June this year. So I got this in June and I got this one in October this year. And this is the sterling silver version of it. So you can again see that motif there, the patterns, uh, the symbols. And you'll see there the 70 years as well. So uh, this is a, a very weighty pen. Uh, you've also got the, um, uh, the coronation Clark there as well uh, and it's a medium uh, number seven size 18 cat gold nib now th this one here and this one did come with plungers I've since fitted converters um, I did have a few issues with the plungers to start with um, and uh, I just I swapped them out for converters and and to be honest I've just left the converters in place I will put the plungers back on those pens at some point but i'm just liking writing with a converter i guess the plunger will add a little bit more weight to it as well the next pen is this one and this is a huge amount of work of art this is the anoto coronation sterling silver and you can see here the amount of detail i've done a review on this pen it really is amazing the amount of detail that is engraved onto this pen and if i unscrew the cap uh, you'll see there it's a medium number seven 18 cat gold nib and a little bit of blue around there on the section actually is it blue no it's just it's actually it's my lights it's it's reflecting the silver the lights are reflecting and causing a, a bit of a hue there um again this is a uh, i've got a cartridge converter in there uh, i did have a plunger i will put a plunger back on at some point but I, I just find it easier to clean cartridge converter pens. And I've been a little bit more going towards cartridge converters uh, uh, more lately. Um, you can post the cap on this. Uh, it won't post deeply, but you can post the cap if you want to. Beautiful pen. Very heavy. It's sterling silver. It's not a light pen. Neither of these, these two are, or even this one as well. But uh, they are nice pens to write with. So if you like a heavy pen... Do check it out if you can at a pen show because they are beautiful pens to write with. Um, you will see those slight difference in sizes here between all three of those though. The next pen here is a pen I've not um, written with for a little while now. It's the Anoto uh, Chased Green. It's a Magna Classic model. Uh, you've got Anoto there on the cap finial. Um, you can see. Uh, and it's got this lovely chasing with this uh, silver filled chasing, which I do love a lot. Uh, I think it, it's really nice. Uh, it is a cartridge converter. I've got a number seven size medium nib. Now, the one on here that I've now got, it, which is that crisp metallic, used to be on here when I bought it. And then I decided to, I would replace that nib with a brand new nib. Uh, so I'll probably do the same with the Great Roof at some point. Um... It was just, I had a steel nib there. Oh, and I'm just looking. There's a little bit of ink residue in in here. Let me um, wipe that off because, yeah, I think that converter might be leaking slightly. You know what? I was only talking to friends the other day saying that I have not had any converters fail on me. And that one is actually starting to leak. So I might need to look into that one. Um, it's a Schmidt converter. They're like five... I want to say five pound, probably three pound, five dollars, uh, probably four to five euros. So uh, they're not expensive. So that's a good thing about converters is uh, if, if a converter did fail on you, you can actually just swap it out uh, and you can buy those converters anywhere. So from that perspective, uh, it, that that I, I think works well. And I actually did buy, I think I've got about 10 or 15 of the Schmidt converters now because I never had any spare and uh, when I wanted to take the plungers out of these two, um, I needed some converters, so I went and bought some. So, uh, yeah, so I have this one inked up with me this week as well, and I probably will look at changing that converter at some point. Uh, the next pen inked up is the Anoto, and this is the uh, Christmas Cowl 
2022. It's a prototype. So uh, it is 0, 0 of 22. So this was a 2022 version of the year. Uh, and there were only 22 made and then two prototypes, a 0 and a double zero. I actually know the other person that has number zero, and that is actually our UK Nibmeister, John Soroka. Uh, he uh, gleefully told me that when we were at the London Pen Show in the bar. So uh, so we both have the prototypes of this pen now. Um, but this is a, a beautiful pen. I love the, the gold uh, and the also the, the gold uh, filling here on the, the pattern, but also the the green, uh, um, this is diffusion bonded acrylic, uh, as I understand it from an auto. Uh, so uh, very nice and uh, comes with a medium number seven 18 cat gold nib. Um, this is a cartridge converter as well. Uh, this didn't come with a plunger, but I've got that inked up and uh, writing with it this week. So uh, can I post the cap on this? I can do, and it does post uh, very deeply and securely. Uh, it, it's a very nice pen, and I have to say, I'm really glad I was able to pick that one up. Uh, when I was picking these two up from an auto, I actually said, you know what, I really missed out on this one, and uh, Feng and Oto said, well, funny you should say that, because I have a prototype that I could sell you. So that's how I ended up with this pen, and... Uh, so be very careful when you're talking to a manufacturer or even a, a retail or distributor because they might actually find that they've got one available for you if you so want one. And I'm glad I picked it up. Honestly, I am really glad. Um, so I'm glad I had that conversation with, with Feng uh, and Noto because uh, if I hadn't asked and I found somebody who bought that later on, then I would have kicked myself. So I'm glad it's in my collection now. The next pen inked up is uh, the Mr. Cypress Rodden Dragon. Uh, I had this inked up last week. It's a beautiful pen. Uh, all of the, all of this pattern is um, abalone shell, and it's cut to size, various colours of the abalone shells, and then almost like glued together onto the body of this pen to make this pattern. It must be a huge amount of work to do that, and I'm just in awe at the the beauty of this pen uh, and you've even got a bit of wind there and a bit of wind there as well uh, on the finials uh, I got a, uh, a it's a number six size Mr. Cypress nib I got it a, a medium 14 count gold nib it's a little bit of abalone shell there on the section which I don't think really matches the pen too much uh, it is cartridge converter you can't post the cap it's not designed to do so but this uh, is a beautiful pen uh, now I went on a kick with Mr. Cypress and I bought, I think it was eight Mr. Cypress pens. Now, most of them are actually uh, quite reasonably priced compared to Danny Trios or uh, other pens like uh, Tatcha. Um, this one was um, probably nearly double that price because of the amount of work on it. So I did have to seriously consider whether I was going to pay that money for this because uh, it was it was around about uh, it was I think it was around about a thousand pound, but it's got a it's got a, a huge amount of artwork on it. So uh, very very glad that I did buy that pen. Uh, and then the next pen inked up here is uh, the uh, Mr. Cypress Eggshell Zero One. So you've got this duck crushed duck ducks eggs. Can I say that correctly? Crushed ducks eggs. Uh, typically, it's normally quail's eggs, um, which are smaller pieces. Uh, these are duck's eggs with abalone shell strips or stripes, uh, and then it's all glued to a pen, and then arushi lacquered uh, to protect it. A very beautiful pen, I have to say. I really love this, uh, and I love how it writes as well. Uh, it has number six size Mr. Cypress nib. Uh, it's a 14 count gold medium nib, cartridge converter. Uh, you can't post the caps. They're not designed to be posted. But uh, you don't really need to because let me show you again. In the size of my hand, this is a long pen. So uh, you really, really don't want to be posting. Uh, it's 100 and I think it's 150 millimeters long uh, with the cap on. So it is a long pen. 
And then the last pen here is a Mr. Cypress. Um, and this is an Emonite body again with Arushi Lacquer and Makie. Uh, and it's called Maple uh, in the Forest. I typically call it Maple Leaf. A beautiful pen. Really stunning. And I have to say, I, I fell in love with this. There was only one available. So I had to buy this one immediately. Because I've come to learn that Mr. Cypress pens, once they're sold out, they're sold out. They don't normally get the same model back in stock. And there's only normally five made of each. So this is a Mr. Cypress uh, nib. And it's a 14 karat gold medium nib. Um, the cap's not really designed to post, even though it's a cigar-shaped pen. Uh, again, cartridge converter. This is slightly shorter, but it's still a decent size in my hand. Uh, lots of glitter there on the section as well. Um, so that is slightly shorter than these two, uh, but still a very, very nice length of pen. So there you have it. That's my county ink pens for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So I think let's now take a look at these pens uh, inked. So this is the Anoto, and this is the Great uh, Roof. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Um, and this is quite a nice flowing pen. Um, I do like the, the way that the ink flows. Just not so happy with the crisp metallic that was on this nib. And I had to re-grind it to a rounded stub. So this is... And Anoto, and it's the uh, Great uh, Roof. I think that's what it's. Yeah, Great Roof. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. Uh, I did buy this with a steel nib, so uh, I just wanted to swap it out for gold, and then I put this one in because I had I only had this one as a spare nib. Uh, and then the ink in here is Lamy mango and the nib writes okay it just doesn't write as nice as uh one of the um out of the factory nibs so i may actually just buy um a replacement nib for that at the uh, london pen show in march 24 uh the next pen is the uh, anoto and this is the british museum great court uh vitreous so we'll do uh an ink swatch and this is a, a lovely um, blue aqua blue color so this is uh, the Anoto British Museum great court and it's vitreous uh, enamel and it's a fine and it's an 18 cat gold just fit it on there uh, and then the ink in here is venustus it's actually a v actually but pronounced uh, as a u so the venustus and it's aqua the spargy but that is a very beautiful turquoisey colored ink one i like a lot uh, a pen I got at the London Pen Show in October 23 was this one. It's the Enoto, and it is a Platinum Jubilee overlay. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this, uh, again, the ink flows quite nicely on this nib. Uh, it's an Enoto, and it's the Platinum Jubilee And it's the overlay. And it's a medium and it's an 18 count gold nib. I do find that it has a sweet spot on this nib. And sometimes it will skip a little bit when I write. Um, it's the only Anoto nib that I've had that with. Um, but um, I might just need to tune that nib a little bit. Uh, the ink in here is Diamine. Graphite. And that is a uh, lovely uh, dark grey ink. Uh, the next pen is the uh, sterling silver version of the Platinum Jubilee from Anoto. 
So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is running very low on ink. So I'm hoping I can just get through this review with it. Although I will probably ink this one back up again. So it's the Anoto Platinum Jubilee. Uh, at Sterling Silver. And it's a medium and it's an 18 count gold nib. And the ink in here is Diamine Majestic Purple. Which is a very nice purple ink. One I do like a lot. The next pen is the Anoto Sterling Silver Coronation Pen. And we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, I have it inked up with this blue ink, and I keep wanting to put a lighter blue ink in here. I think this is probably the right blue. So this is the Anoto Coronation Sterling Silver. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is a KWZ Hawaii Blue. Which is, is a nice blue ink, I have to say. I always think, though, that KWZ Hawaii Blue should be a lighter, more turquoise coloured ink. But I have to say, it is a nice blue. So uh, I have that one inked up this week. Uh, we have the Anoto, and this is the Magna Classic in the Chased Green. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this uh, is the Anoto Magna Classic in the Chased Green. And it is a medium 18 count gold nib. Uh, this was the uh, new nib that I bought for this pen because it did have that nib on it originally. Uh, and uh, this is Diamine Meadow, which is a, a very nice uh, green uh, colored ink. And that's one I've used a lot this year. The next pen inked up is the Anoto, and this is the Christmas Cow 2022. And this is a different green. This is the Anoto Christmas Cow 2022. It is a prototype. And uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is, it's still a diamine ink, but it's diamine apple glory. But you can see the difference there. Diamond apple glory is a little bit more of a crisper green color uh, ink. The next uh, pen inked up is the uh, Varden pen here of Mr. Cypress, and it's a Mr. Cypress Varden Dragon. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I do like uh, the, the ink color on this. So this is a Mr. Cypress Varden dragon and it's a medium and it's a 14 count gold nib and uh, the ink in here is diamine graphite but that is a, a very nice dark gray ink i do prefer i have in the past been preferring diamine earl gray but this is now becoming a favorite gray of mine the next uh, pen inked up is the Mr. Cypress Eggshell 01. So we'll do an ink swatch here. 
and this uh, is uh, a nice colored ink for sure so this is the mr cypress and it's the eggshell zero one uh, it's a medium and it's a 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is uh, pilot Iwashizuku Aji Sei, which is a, a very nice, almost purplish, blurple coloured ink. Really loving that ink. And then the last pen inked up is a Mr. Cypress, and this is a uh, maple uh, in the forest. I call the maple leaf. So uh, we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. And try and get this on camera a little bit more there. So this is the Mr. Cypress. And it is the, I'm going to put here maple leaf because that's what I call it. Uh, and it's a medium and it's a 14 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is a Herban. Ambra de Bermany. But that is quite uh, a light autumny coloured ink, uh, which I think matches that maple leaf quite nicely. So I think let's uh, go through these pens inked up one more time. We have an Anote, and this is a great roof resin in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Lamy Mango. We have an Anoto, and this is the British Museum Great Court Vitreous in a fine 18 cat gold nib inked up with Venustus Aqua di Spargi. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee Overlay in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Darmine Graphite. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Darmine Majestic Purple. We have an Anoto Coronation Sterling Silver in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Hawaii Blue. We have a Anoto Magna Classic Chased Green in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Darmine Meadow. We have an Anoto Christmas Cowl 2022 Prototype in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Darmine Apple Glory. We have a Mr. Cypress Varden Dragon in a medium 14 karat gold nib uh, and that is inked up with Darmine Graphite. We have a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 01 in a medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot of Washizuku Aji Sei. And then we have a Mr. Cypress Maple Leaf in a medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with Herburn Amber de Bermany. So there you have it. That's my currently ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.